everybody, I'm Miss Ellen, and for Read Aloud Day, I'm going to read Diamonds and Toes, as told by Ellen um, Schechter. This is my favorite picture book from when I was a child. Once upon a time, and a long time ago, there lived a woman with her two daughters. Claire, the younger, was as beautiful as she was good. Her eyes were warm as sunshine, and her voice was full of bells, and her heart was as good as gold. Melina, the older, was ugly and mean like her mother. Her mouth was bitter, and her face was hard, and her heart was as rusty as old nails. Melina and her mother hated Claire. They made her work all the time. She had to scrub their stockings and press their petticoats. They made her sit alone in the kitchen with nothing to eat but the scraps from their plates. Every morning and evening, Claire had to fetch water from the well. She had a long climb up a steep, rocky hill. The heavy buckets hurt her hands, but she took each step with a happy heart and a merry will. One morning, a ragged old woman hobbled up to the well and asked Claire for a drink. Now, truth be told, this old woman was really a fairy. She had made herself look old and poor to see if Claire's heart was as kind as her face. Let me help you, Claire told the old woman. She drew the clearest water from the coolest part of the well. She gave it to the ragged woman with a smile and a curtsy that made Claire's old tin cup seem as fine as silver. Thank you, my dear, the old woman said, and she drank deeply. You are as polite as you are pretty, and here is my gift for thanks. Each time you speak, flowers and jewels shall fall from your mouth. She disappeared before Claire could even thank her. Claire ran home with her heavy buckets, laughing as water and jewels splashed and sparkled all around her in the sun. You're late, her mother scolded as soon as she got home. I'm sorry, mother, Claire said gently. Let me tell you what happened. Two roses, three diamonds, four pearls, and a ruby fell from her lips as she spoke. Dear daughter, what can this mean? Her wicked mother asked suddenly acting sweet as sugar. Jewels and flowers scattered on the floor as Claire told her story. The mother fell to her knees and shoved the jewels in her pocket. Then she yelled at Melina, go to the well at once, she ordered, and if you meet a ragged old woman, be sure to give her some water. Why should I? The rude girl asked. Just look what your sister got, the greedy woman answered. Diamonds and rubies emeralds and pearls. Now do as I say. Melissa fussed, Melina fussed and snapped. She whined and whimpered, but she finally set off for the well, dragging her feet and carrying their best silver pitcher. She climbed the rocky hill, complaining every step of the way. When Melina finally reached the well, she met a lady dressed like a princess. May I please have a drink? The fine lady said. Melina was so hot and thirsty, she didn't even answer. She dipped her pitcher into the well and took a long drink of cool water. Please help me, the lady cried. I'm so very thirsty. If you want a drink, get it yourself, Melina told the lady crossly. I am not your servant. Now this fine lady was the same fairy Claire met earlier. This time, she had dressed as a princess to see how Melina would act. Fie on you, the fairy told Melina. Your manners are as mean as your face. So here is my gift for you. With each word you speak, toads and snakes will fall from your mouth. Melina screamed and ran home, snakes and toads tumbling from her lips. Mama, mama, she called. Just look what happened. Her mother watched with horror as toads and snakes came pouring from Melina's mouth. It's all Claire's fault, Melina shrieked as toads hopped on her shoulders and snakes dripped from her hair. 
The mother scolded and she slapped Claire. Two tears as bright as diamonds slid down Claire's cheek. Then Claire ran away deep into the forest where the sun glittered on the leaves and the birds sang like flutes. She ran as fast and as far as she could, knowing she would never go home again. Soon she heard the drum of hoofbeats. It was the king's son following a trail of flowers that sprang up each time Claire took a step. Why are you crying? The prince asked kindly. Claire told him her story. By the time she was done, the prince was in love with her kind heart and gentle ways. He hardly even saw the heaps of jewels sparkling at their feet. And now the whole world lies before me, said Claire. I will never go home again. I would be honored to welcome you to my home, said the prince. They filled their hands with flowers and set off for his castle. Everyone in the kingdom came out to welcome them. Claire and the prince decided to marry that very day. The fairy was the fir very first to give them her blessing. When the wicked mother heard all this, she grew sick with envy. Melina grew meaner than ever. She shrieked and raved, she hissed and howled till every room in the house swarmed with snakes and toads. Even her mother grew sick of her. At last, she chased Melina into a dark corner of the forest where they both lived in great misery till they died of rage. Claire and the prince lived a long, blessed life with joy and plenty, and they always remembered the fairy's blessing. Of all the great riches to have and hold, a kind heart is far more precious than gold. Yay. So, why do you like that book so much? Well, it was given to me by my mother, um, and she actually had the illustrator write a dedication for me in the front, and it says to guard within your heart that treasure and it's just something I've always tried to remember as I grew up. Yes, well thank you so 